god, there's like multiple strawberry shortcake. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Howdy, everyone. You hello to the YouTubes and things. It's Monday. We're playing more Final Fantasy 16. Picking right up where we left from last night, which was... What? <laughs> what was it? We... We destroyed the crystal. Another crystal. That's it. Spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, we destroyed the, the fire crystal, breath, whatever the hell it was called. We saw our mom's newest child. Um, uh, what else did we do? We, I don't know, decided to murder more people probably or something. Goblin coin. Have we gotten a goblin coin before? What are goblin coins? Items. I'm assuming it's a crafting material or not. Phoenix feather. Is it a key item? No. Uh, or curiosity, I guess these are technically. That's key items. Where the? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, we must have. We did get some goblin coins before. Don't know what they're for. They might just be to sell, but I mean, I haven't felt the need to really sell anything yet. So that's fine. We'll just ignore that. We need to do side quests. I'm curious if any new things are available here with Blackthorn. Use the forge. Platinum sword. That's new. Uh, I mean, it is a little bit stronger than what we currently have. But I don't really care. <laughs> Either. Like, I would like to get more defense, though. Platinum Belt is kind of tempting, just because our defense is so low. Platinum Cannons. Okay, well, that's a lot weaker than what we have for some reason. I can't, Okay, I kind of remember. We picked something up that was relatively strong. Holy shit, it takes 177 wire, right? Now, we only have two... Liquid flame. Can we get more of that later? I'm assuming there's some way to get more later. Platinum sword is a fair bit stronger. 25. Like, platinum belt only adding 8, though. I think I'm just going to ignore it, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Nah, I don't feel the need to make anything. Um. Didn't you have. Yeah, what do you got to say about Drake's breath? Must have been hot fighting in the belly of that crag. Might be work for you as a smith when you hang up the old sword. But I'm betting that won't be for a while. I know how hard it can be trying to fill another man's boots, but I reckon you've grown to sits nicely. He'd be proud. Thanks, yeah. man. I just noticed, too, there is a semi-important quest over there. Off limits, that means you. Oh, I think we've seen that before. Uh, Charon probably has new items. I doubt there's any we actually care about, but might as well take a look. Ring. Want a pat on the back, do you? Well, I suppose you deserve one. Just don't let From it go to your I head. Hear. From what I hear, you'd have been lost without Jill, to say nothing of yours truly. If it wasn't for me keeping you fed and kitted out, you'd neither of you have stood a chance. But fair's fair. You took the chance I gave you and brought the whole bloody mountain down, but the iron blood couldn't the believe their eyes. Focus. So just have to find something else to worship. Because <laughs> there's plenty of other folks in these fair isles who still reckon those rocks are worth more than their weight in diamonds. So you keep doing what you're doing and show them how wrong they are. It's a coin they want to put their faith in. And as long as you keep coughing it up, my faith will stay with you. Fair enough. You fair enough. Some, hey, Noodle. Belt, hello. Too. I mean, we could buy a sword. They're cheap. but Or belt or whatever. But again, I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah, <laughs> is there anything here we care about? Probably not. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Oh. That's kind of neat. So it automatically upgrades like Fira to Faraga and Arrow to Arrow and etc. Well, Fire to Fira because I don't think we can cast the highest level. Maybe when we're an icon? Increase limit breaks. Limit breaks even more. I wonder if Chocobo saw that one. The Channeler's Whispers. Because he was saying something about wanting to unlock, like, Fira and stuff like that. Lionheart Tonic? Okay, yeah. We've seen that. 
The only one I'm at all interested in is Elixir, oh and I don't God. feel like it's really necessary. Oh, We've only oh, died I'm twice sure in the it. entire game, and death obviously doesn't really matter. Where... Where's the plus sign one? Okay, down in the backyard. Let's go grab that real quick. Seems like a semi-important side quest. I'm assuming it's going to be like another recipe for crafting crap, but I don't know. Could be a memory. Whatever it is, it's more important than the other side quests. I'm sure of that much. Which isn't saying a whole lot, sadly, but still. Hello again, sir. Uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. <laughs> Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in a bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Not to mention the, you know, the I'm mark there. I'm the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblin's eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Okay. So, get some seeds so you can grow shit. Couldn't we just, like, look, I'm all for self-sustainability and growing our own curative herbs and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, but... If it's a problem with shipments coming late, couldn't we just order a little extra? So that if the next shipment's late, it's okay. We have a little bit extra <laughs> in our stores. I mean, I don't know. Seems reasonable to me. Plus, from personal experience, there ain't nothing a good potion, a high potion, or elixir can't solve. And uh, Charon's got basically an unlimited supply of that. If we just talk to her, maybe we could, like, do a little tradey trade. That's all I'm saying. Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I have two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most Fair certainly enough. cannot have that. A Doesn't seem like a problem for us dead. to solve, Even though, you know? <laughs> Seems kind of like a problem now, you? you should be solving. But of course, whatever, not. I suppose what we can, can go find help? some thread for you. Aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway. So I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And it's literally just go and pick up. You'd have this someone be me. That's that's all it is. You just need a delivery boy. Bruh. For real? <laughs> like, you do realize we kind of run this place, right? And <laughs> gonna, that'd be like wherever you work at, dude. That'd be like uh, I work in a in a retail store, right? So let's say that we run out of I don't know coffee pots <laughs> on the sales floor. 
So instead of just like, I don't know, going and getting some from the back, I go to the store manager and tell the manager, look, we're out of coffee pots. Can you go to the back and get them? Like, <laughs> I think I think we're a little out of the hierarchy here, my guy. Seems like there's other people that could go and pick up your shit for you, but it's fine. Whatever. You know, it'll help. Give me a chance to see the world, I suppose. So, Rosaria, Rosaria. Rhiannon's Ride. And north of Sarawise. Okay, Sarawise is where we're heading. So, I'll try to remember that one. But west of Rhiannon. Rhiannon? I don't know. Local map. West of... Okay, so up here is probably where the one is. Where is Rhiannon? Amber, Shallop Rock, Aldul, Three Reeds, Sorowise. Ah! Okay, Rhiannon's a ride. So probably like somewhere. It says west of here? So is it just in green sheaves? I'm just gonna put the thing here. I'm almost thinking it'll be back here just based off the map. Wait, what? Seriously? Bro, that's dumb. Okay, well. <laughs> so, Rhiannon's is there. So, I just gotta remember Sorowise and Rhiannon's ride. I think we can do that. Speaking of, while I was on the world map, I should have just, you know, teleported. So, if I start here, actually, and then work my way down... To here, I could probably find both. So let's just do that. Travel to East Pool. See the good old destroyed town. <laughs> Poor town, dude. Poor town. Do I have dishes up here? I think I just have a bowl. I think a bowl and a spoon. Other than like my cup that I'm currently using. Ooh, there's foot pads here. I am tempted to go and kill them, but no. Let's uh. We'll liberate this town another time. Let's go <laughs> let's go find this hunt and shit. Okay. I'm gonna check out this area because this area sounds reasonable. I'm assuming up is north on this map, right? It doesn't really say here or show here. Is there a compass here? No. But I, that would make the most sense, like Well, yeah, I know the cup I'm currently using can't, but the bowl can. Oh, shit. I, <laughs> I forgot if we run into the antelope, they get angry with us. My bad, antelope. I need to turn down my headphones a little bit. This shit's loud. That's better. Whatever. Three bloody hides. I really wish the chocobos felt more use useful. I find myself hardly ever using mounts, though, in, like, basically any game. Because, like, when I see stuff that needs collected or that I can kill or something like that, I have a really hard time just not doing so. So, like, riding stuff around and whatnot just ends up annoying me more than anything because <laughs> I'll see like hey there's a random flower I can collect oh no I can't unless I get off my mount go and collect it and then get back on and that's just annoying or there's a small creature that can be murdered etc it's dumb honestly but I can't help it it's amazing how much weaker just what like five levels makes man it's these creatures that are level 19 go down so much more easily than the level 24 stuff we were just fighting Get him. i guess that does a pretty decent job of making you feel stronger you know as you level up a sense of progression it's not a bad thing it's just surprising 
Is there anything in this house? Have we already raided this house? Oh, another goblin coin. I still don't know what they're for. I should have read a little bit whenever it popped up. Okay, so technically... It just says west, right? So I'm, I'm guessing it's somewhere over there, but... I feel like we should check down here first. It's a tiny bit west of where the marker is. More south than anything. So it's probably not there, but... I feel like if we don't check there and we go straight to the other place, it's going to end up being over here and then it's <laughs> going to have to backtrack. Hello, Mr. Minotaur. I remember when Minotaur used to be something. There's only like a sliver left. That was perfect timing on that. 27, 530. Not bad. Not enough to kill him in one hit, but not bad. Oh, you bastard. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, GG to you guys. Onward! Pick up this thing. Gil. I keep hoping for, like, free potions. Just because I don't want to pay for them myself. <laughs> They're not even that expensive or anything, but... Oh, there's something. Oh, it's on the other side of the water, though, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Will you get angry if I, like, come to here? No. So you're probably... You're probably the hunt, though. Did we kill another Minotaur? It's probably not worth it. I don't remember what Minotaurs give you for killing them, but... I doubt it matters. Such a good boy, Torval. I mean, it kind of is, to be honest. Not gonna lie to you, girl. These things are pretty easy to kill. You know what I've forgotten to check for a little while? Our ability points. How many do we have to spend? 2,189. That, I think, is enough to increase our limit break, right? Yeah, it only costs 1,000. Perfect. Upgrading ignition wouldn't be bad either. What's it do when we upgrade? Area of effect and potency. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and upgrade that once. What does mastery give us? Assignment to any icon. Meh. <laughs> But upgrading our limit break gauge would be nice. We need 2,000 to do it again. Is there anything else we care to upgrade? No, blind justice sucks ass. Deadly embrace. Increases the range. Not bad. Um, We do use Scarlet Cyclone a decent bit. Increase the number of hits. That's not too bad. What are these cheap ones that we never got? Charged magic. Reduces the charge time. Man, I never like think to do it. Burning blade, down thrust, lunge. Um. Let's just do whatever the recommended is. There you go. 
good stuff. <laughs> so it just unlocked some some things. Oh, it mastered down thrust for us and charged magic. That's fine. I'm okay with all of that. Uh, it does charge quicker. That is a, a lot quicker, actually. It's not terrible. I'm still not going to remember to use it, though. No, you're not the hunt. I'll kill you since we're here. But you're not what we were looking for. Oh, uh, local map, please. So, yeah, it must be over here somewhere. Maybe, like, here? How many hits does this do now? That doesn't seem that different, to be honest. Oh, shit. Dodged a little too early on that. if it's possible to just disable that ability, but I'd rather just not have it even be an option, man. Looking for a big dude. I presume it's big. All the hunts so far have been big. I guess it could be strong, or small, just strong. That would be an interesting fight. Antelope. Any mean creatures over here? No. I don't think we misread it, right? Like, it did say west of Rhiannon's ride or whatever. I don't think we misread it. I was literally just going to mention, hey, I'm glad these things aren't just, like, trying to pick a fight with us when we're just running through. But nah, they had to, man. Guess they just wanted to die. We're going back over there. I'm going over here. I'm pretty sure we'd see it by now, though, if it was over here. I really wish, like, people would just give you hints whenever you see them, man. Like, if we could go to Martha's Rest and just talk to somebody some random person and they'd be like yo there's this really big thing that's been chilling you know at this point on the map or in this area it'd be real nice if somebody went and took care of it are you no you're just a minotaur right no you're the one thank god okay so we were close i just didn't turn the camera to the right Level 31. He's a big boy, too, huh? Oh, you dick. 
Didn't expect him to turn around and keep charging like that. Between the tornado and this, maybe we can get him down? No. <laughs> no, we can't. I can't see him either. That's good. Okay, he's gonna turn around and keep charging. Little early, but screw it. Trigger all the things. Oh shit, my controller's dying. I was thinking last night, like, I should probably plug my controller in. But I was like, nah, it'll be fine. Now I kind of regret not doing it. Nope, wrong, wrong thing. That doesn't get me closer. Damn it. I don't have any potions. That's bad. That's real bad. You can just stay over there if you want, guy. I don't mind. <laughs> oh, you bastard. We're alive. Just barely. But we're alive. <laughs> we're dead. Okay. As soon as that shot lock went out and his uh, club was going above his head, I was like, I think we're screwed. <laughs> Maybe we should have made that extra defense thing. Oh shit. Why did we... Why did we spawn all the way back here? That's weird. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's about... It's closer than I thought, man. I was expecting it to either do us all the way back here where we spawned in at. Or like somewhere over here wherever we had our last fight at. So this isn't bad. I am curious when the actual checkpoint part was, though. Like, did we lose any any experience? All of our stuff's still upgraded, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! Can we not get there from here? I'm a little lost. Just kill these guys, please. I'm not here to fight them. This way. There we go. There he is. It'd be cool if they had that system like uh, that one Lord of the Rings game. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. But where whatever creature like kills you becomes stronger. Gets like a rank and shit like that. Something like that would be really cool, man. Especially for like these hunts and stuff. Honestly, that's just a really cool system for any RPG game. <laughs> I'd love to see like Elder Scrolls games this game literally like any RPG
I can't see him. I'm just going to get back to avoid some hits. Let the tornado do its thing right now. Want to get him down? Perfect. Ten grand? That's nothing to sneeze at. That was dumb. That was dumb. No, not that. Oh, parry. Hell yeah, dude. I did not expect to get a parry in there. I will take that. No, dude. I wanted to get close. Come on, take him down. Now that I'm like actually paying attention, this fight is going much better. <laughs> I don't know if the gouge ability here actually gets a benefit from us being primed or not, or semi-primed. I'm kind of stuck, yeah. That was a really bad time to trigger that ability. Chocobo, what's up, man? I don't remember if there's text to speech, but just in case. Nah, I don't have text to speech. <laughs> what is the. What would it say for that? What is it? Wait, what is that even? Is that a crocodile? <laughs> it just. It looks. Crocodile, I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like. Oh, man. I would love to have text-to-speech for that, but is that an option in Streamlabs? That's something I'm going to have to look into. I don't think it is. Yeah, right now, the only text-to-speech is the, uh, the whatchamacallit. The, the thing with, with Bo. Bo has text-to-speech. That was the wrong one. I did not think we got that in time, but I'm happy we did. Ah, whatever. Take the hit. That was dumb. Stagger, stagger. Perfect. Points to Ico, okay. Ico, <laughs> Ico, whatever. I will do that as soon as this fight is over, because otherwise I shall forget. Come on, dude, just die already. You're so close. Oh. <laughs> I can't dodge. I'm stuck. <laughs> that was some shit. Oh, Chocobo, before you got here, uh, I noticed there was an item in the shop. 
a, a, a equipable that automatically charges your magic for you. I know you've already finished the game, but I didn't know if you saw it or not. I just remember at one point you were saying something about uh, wishing that like Thundara, Fira, etc. were a thing. Okay, so one hunt down. The other one should be here somewhere. I'm guessing up here. You did see it? Okay. I mean, I figured you would have, but... And you were just saying that before you saw the item. But I wasn't sure. I thought it was kind of neat. I didn't end up deciding to equip it, but... Or even buy it, for that matter. <laughs> but yeah, I still thought it was neat. I ended up equipping the items that give you extra ability points and gill. <laughs> I don't know why the gill one. Honestly, I'm going to unequip the gill one now that I'm thinking about it. Because the gill, I really don't care about. You don't earn much gill from fights anyways. And I feel like I've used all the gill I'm going to need to use for the game. Defense by 10... Anything that gives more defense than that? Probably not. Oh, badge of metal one. Okay. You. Thank you. Takes us from whatever we were at to, yeah, over 200. Let me add ego now before I forget. So I already had almost forgotten. C-O, oh, that's O-C-P, that's not how you spell, not Air Tornelico, not Crash Bandicoot, this one, I don't feel like mathing, oh god, plus 500 equals, there we go, did it, did it work, there it goes, okay. 3,200. Perfect. Very Kingdom Hearts music right now. Yeah, I didn't notice. <laughs> I did not notice at all. Can we ride Chocobo oh, in town? No. Now. The one time when I'm really interested in riding the thing. Just to get through the town quicker. Because can't even run in town. Ready, go. Uh, run? Thank you. I always try to, like, left stick click to, to run, and it just never... <laughs> it always confuses me. And then I remember that you gotta just R2. R2 that thing. Wait a second. Did we just go the wrong way? Bruh, I straight up went the wrong way. <laughs> Whenever I hopped on... Wait, what? No, I must have already been coming across the bridge. How did I get turned around? Oh, I was meant to turn in town and I went straight. Okay, my bad. Well. At least we got Ambrosia to help make the trip a little bit quicker. And to annoy me that much more that we can't just ride the damn thing through town. Ah, the elevator. That's what we need. That makes sense. I doubt you have anything I'm interested in, but... Anything catch your eye? <laughs> Honestly, though, man, they love their R2s. Stone skin cuffs. Hm. Interesting, I guess. Um... I mean, there's probably, like, an achievement or something for getting all of those. But I'm not much of an achievement hunter for one. And for two, I just, I don't. Really? I would have thought they're, that's like such an obvious achievement opportunity. Collect all the orchestrians in the game. I'm surprised. Do you get anything for collecting them? Other than the ability to listen to music in the hideaway? Yeah, the music. Yes to trophy, okay. I was going to say, that's like perfect, man, because otherwise it's just collecting music, which 
I mean, I guess if you really like the music and don't just want to buy the soundtrack or stream it on Spotify or something, then, like, sure, go for it. But otherwise, what's the point of buying the music? Are you a hunt? You look like you could be a hunt. Yep, you're a hunt. Oh, it's one of these things. Okay. I did not expect that. That was dumb, it was too far away. Ooh, you got a bean sword, I like. I can't believe there's not like proper elemental weaknesses, man. Like, this game would be perfect for it with all the elemental powers that you get and shit from all the different icons. Holy crap, okay. That was an un unexpected amount of damage. Bro. You can't see what he's doing, just get away from him. I wonder what the really high level hunts are going to be like. These ones are pretty wicked to be honest with you. Like unless they just get stronger, <laughs> I don't know how they're going to make the, the higher level hunts any more intense. Need to have like an icon battle as a fucking hunt or something. Kate, that doesn't sound good. Dude, I saw that coming from like a mile away and just let it hit me. No, 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 no. I don't want to die now, dude. We're so close. Oh, 
quick, dude. Oh, the freaking shot locks. Bruh, I hate the shot locks so much. It gets me damage more than it does anything else. Oh, this is... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, bro. We were so close. I was stuck on the freaking foliage. Took it off the second you got the fourth icon. I keep... I want to... I don't think I have enough points for it. But yeah, like, as soon as I unlock something else to put in here, for sure, dude. But, like, I don't think I can have that... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I can have it equipped to two, right? Uh, okay, hold on. Put the order back the way it was, otherwise I'm going to get confused. Can you only have three icons equipped at a time? Because, like, I, I really like the pile drive. I feel like it does a great job with stagger. And then the judgment bolt's pretty strong. Like, I like it. I just hate the blind justice. Recommended abilities? I didn't even realize that was a thing. Rising flames, it recommends. Thunderstorm? Judgment Bolt. I mean, I guess we could try Thunderstorm. I've never tried it. Or Rook's Gambit. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, too. As much as I like the... Uh, like, I think the, the big tornado thing's really cool. A a aerial Blast? Yeah. I feel like that stagger gauge is wrong. <laughs> like, it does not feel like it staggers things that well. Uh, put it back in the order it was in, though. Otherwise, I'm going to get uber confused. Lightning Rod. Pile Drive. I don't know, dude. Diamond Dust has the same stagger and does half bar to bosses. Nice. That's <laughs> goes to show how uh, how accurate that is, though. The things that it has there. Equip ignition. Okay. I mean, at this point, we're basically where we were, but I guess Garuda is different, which is fine. I'll try the I'll try the other Garuda ones. What, the tornado? I yeah, I mean, I have. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just mistaken because it's like an over time thing. And not an instant drop like the like the pile drive is. But I feel like it's a lot slower than the other ones. Which one has more stagger? I'm more interested in stagger than raw damage output at this point. I'll try Wicked Wheel. Gouge does a decent job, I feel like, at dropping stagger, but it takes so long, man. And you're completely vulnerable while it's doing its thing. Unless you just stop, but if you stop, then you lose half of the damage slash stagger output of it. It's kind of dumb. Never uses that maybe the case and does no damage, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to try to fight this thing again. Everything's in the right order, yeah. See, it really sucks the shot lock thing, because like I said, I, I really do like Ramu. Like, I think Ramu's really cool. The ability set on him outside of that. <laughs> good start, good start. Like, that's a pretty decent stagger drop from just Pile Drive and the Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. We could do that. But I'm going to die just from not paying attention.
Oh god. I only like Deadly Embrace really though with the big dudes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the little things. Ah, I would rather just like teleport towards them. Oh my god, dude, I'm seriously gonna die from not paying attention. Whatever, this is this is a learning moment. Okay, Deadly Embrace, Tornado. See, like, it's not bad. It did do a bit. I guess it probably depends. That's better than I was thinking it was. No, it's bad. <laughs> it's better than I was thinking it was, to be honest with you. Because, like, it did drop it... What, about halfway, considering that we were also attacking and whatnot? My problem is, is that it completely blocks vision. And if the, the creatures are very mobile, whatever you're fighting, then it's completely useless. Now, obviously, doing it after a Deadly Embrace half stagger helps out with that a lot, but... Why did I not teleport toward him? That was weird. Damn, dude. Bastard. I need to time my dodges instead of just like spamming them whenever I get scared. <laughs> Gotta get in that like Dark Souls mindset. I'm gonna get hit. Yup. Punish your perfect dodges. You can use magic out of dodge too. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know that's something I do definitely need to to do. The timing is just tight, and I never, like, think about it fast enough. <laughs> like, I'll try to, but it'll be way too late to actually... I forgot to use the tornado. See, the problem is what you're talking about is being good at the game. <laughs> right. I dodged out and dodged back in. That was fantastic. Good job, me. Just take him down. Stagger. That didn't stagger. Why? What? How did that not stagger? That was wrong button. Or not wrong button. Wrong thing. Wrong dude. I hope you have fun getting your Poke Bowl up. Wait, they have Warhead's beer? And no, what, love? Noodle got me like a Warhead's pop to try. I'm not going to like drink the whole can of it probably because there's over a day's worth of sugar for me in it, but <laughs> Oh, you were thinking the Warhead Sour Green Apple stuff? Yeah. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good guess, Chocobo. I kind of forgot about it. I need to try it. $19 for a four-pack? God damn. So is everybody just making, like, alcohol now? Is that the thing? Because, like, Sunny D has alcohol. What was it? There was some something else, too, wasn't there? Recently that came out with an alcohol. 
I'm currently drinking root beer with uh, honey whiskey. I expected the honey whiskey, you know, to have a little bit of sweetness to it. This shit is like drinking syrup, man. <laughs> like, it is, there is way too much uh, honey in it for me personally. It's okay mixed with the root beer, but I put a little too much whiskey, not quite enough root beer, so it's meh. Oh, yeah, Warhead Staffy doesn't sound bad. I don't eat a whole lot of, like, taffy or chewy things because it gets stuck in my teeth and bugs me. But I do like, like, Laffy Taffy, um, Saltwater Taffy. I feel like there's another one that I can't think of at the moment. <laughs> uh, Swedish Fish? Dude. But it's, like, the flavor of those things is why I like them. She's near the Abbey is certainly damp. The texture kills me. Damp enough for Morgan Beards. Goblin Gardener. Are there whole goblin societies? No fucking shot lock. How much would it cost to master? Oh my god, it's expensive, dude. That's just upgrade. That's not even master. Oh, buddy. I guess it would be like... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Simply Lemonade. There we go. That's the one I was thinking of. Simply there's Coke with Jack in it in a can now. That makes a ton of sense, honestly, though. The fact that it took them this long to bottle that is surprising, because Jack and Coke is... I mean, everybody knows Jack and Coke. Oh, shit, no. That was my marker, not <laughs> the quest marker. I'm a dummy. Back the other way. I promise I have not had that much to drink. <laughs> I'm just dumb. That's that's all it is. Noodle, if you can still talk, what was the stuff we bought you? It was, uh... Oh, no, I remember. Smirnoff Berry Lemonade, which... Interesting. It's also too sweet for me personally, but I feel like it'll be good mixed with other things. What are we here for again? Flowers. Seed seedling flowers or seeding flowers. For that side quest. That I'm assuming will give us some sort of recipe or maybe it'll give us like an item that makes our potions more effective. Or just a permanent increase to potions would be pretty cool, honestly. Like effectiveness. Banana bread beer. That's interesting. Holy shit. Okay, that took down his stagger gauge quick. That was pretty decent. Loved it. <laughs> you don't even like beer. I mean, maybe it would be different if it was banana bread beer, I guess. But, like, <laughs> you don't even like beer, though. Why are you telling me to get it? You're an adult. You can buy it. soon. Bro, that completely missed. Oh, I suck so much. Ah, 
Ah, too slow. Come on, just getting staggered. There we go. Oh, parry, even better. Dude, he's dead. Just kill him. An adult that can't drive and loves banana bread. Have your mom take you. You're going out with her right now anyways. <laughs> Make her stop. Not that you need to encourage her to buy booze, but... Right yellow. These are our Morgan beers, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well gather as many as I can. I mean, you say that, but there's a Something lot more here than what you're grabbing. It reminds me of home. Really? Hopefully this will be enough. It's but weird that it reminds him of home. Because, like, the dude was saying they have a unique scent that attracts monsters. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> bruh. I'm assuming, I'm just going to blame it on his mom. His mom was probably trying to attract monsters to just be a dick. Good more plants. Who doesn't love a good plan every now and then? Said the draper has Hortensis cloth. Maybe he'll remember us from when we were a uh, bearer still, because didn't we talk to this lady then? Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone? Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. <laughs> I mean, do you think I just wear this armor and carry around this big sword for the hell of it? Like, no. I kill things. That's what I do, lady. It's gonna be alright. Uh, I mean, okay. I'm not normally a fast traveler, but let's be honest, man. There's no reason to run around here. The quicker we can get to the objective, the better. I have to fight the urge every time I see just a random creature like those Arachne back there to not fight them. She meant nothing by it, I swear. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my staff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. 44? What would you say is like a normal completion level? Or like, or the not, you know, required? Because I'm sure somebody Refuse, could beat the game at level 1. But like 30, 35, 40 these, these for like a reasonable completion level? To give away. Or not completion, but you ending. Happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection, and coin too. Sorry, friend, but we'll be the ones taking it. Oi, killer! It's time to collect. I'm not here to kill him. I told oh. you not to call me that. He's here to kill. Already <laughs> if you hadn't insisted, we'd put on this little act. 35 is. As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Melted first form. Let's get this over with. <laughs> with the look of him, man, I love to imagine him just literally melting. Like. I'm just gonna take the hit. 
fine. We still have a high potion. And regular, for that matter. The tornado actually spawned on him. I feel like that would have been pretty decent right there. Killer. So the quote unquote merchant was just trying to you made your point. scam people basically. Killer my ass. <laughs> Did he hurt you? The fact that we just let him go though, we should have kicked his ass too. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My ship great is lender. safe. And my livelihood with it. Is that like you God of the, you. the merchants, the great that, lender? You're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. What level are we? I think we're like... 28, 29, something like that. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Goodbye, Mr. Merchant, sir. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'll be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. I was wondering if you'd Free give us charge. anything extra for all we've done for you. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. Uh, so maybe your mother's the one we dealt with, like... Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. What was it, five years ago, six years ago, something like that? Roughly five. We haven't stopped at the horror house since we, uh, were here originally. I just figured I'd stop in and say hello. I want... You just like begging the whore over there. there were great coins Sorry, Cordison. Swinging from every belt in town. Not anymore. Since the capital moved, they're all shriveled to the size of peas. The latest character to be introduced. Seeing business is scarce these days. The uh, dame decided we should all learn to read. I only wish she I had mean, some smaller books. After I destroyed the second crystal, there was another hooded figure that looked like Joshua but wasn't because Joshua was off on the Sambrek road or whatever the hell it was before there was a north reach but alas uh, do i actually care about anything you're saying probably not, not. Left. in a few short the veil vale. eh, not really okay goodbye be sure to give my regards to Otto. i was just wondering if this town was still here after the capital moved, I figured it would be even more dead than it is. I mean, honestly, it looks about the same. Other than the fact that uh, the crystal's kind of missing. 
the view isn't quite as pretty, but it hasn't really changed much. All right, let's turn in our side quest and get back with the story, man. So we're heading back to Rosaria. Oh no, they did introduce the uh, the duchy and her son, her newest son. They did do that now that I think about it. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry, I have it. Indeed. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. <gasps> Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Greek as ghost. Oh, she was a a a very, very generous, I've seen. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. <laughs> oh, no. oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. Is she going to make us some new clothes? White continental silk, lush red velvet, black embroidered linen, probably. <laughs> the idea of... Clive running around in white silk, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, is this gonna be like? I f almost feel like. Uh, so in the Final Fantasy VII remake, um, Tifa asks you a question at one point. Uh, I forget what the question is exactly, but it has something to do with with clothes that she should wear. And then whenever she's uh goes off to Don Corneo she wore that like whatever it was that you picked i almost feel like this is a similar style question like uh maybe something for jill like it'd be really weird us wearing anything other than the black embroidered linen but you picked white silk that sounded like the funniest one to me <laughs> the most in character for clive i feel like would be the black embroidered linen but since you picked white silk and black embroidered linen just sounds lame. I'm gonna pick the lush this red one. velvet <laughs> just to see what to if it does anything different. Ah, there we is. There it is. I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but when my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories. Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just had that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better oh, used on it the, the same? children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems so to be wait, attached to the last So wait, she doesn't end up wearing it at her. some point? <laughs> I was hoping, like Sometimes I said, I with the Tifa thing, off. that there would be a scene in the future, well, maybe of them like being intimate, or maybe at some point they get married or something. I don't know. I'm I don't sure know what's in the future. We'll see, I suppose. That is too bad, though. Love how just last night. So roughly like two and a half hours ago of playtime, we spent all of our gill, dude, <laughs> buying alcohol for everybody, and we're already back up to to more than what we had to begin with. Like the gill really comes quick, and it just don't stop coming. Do we ever get a reward for doing the hunts, other than like, you know, the obvious ones? Like it would be cool if I don't know. When you finish five hunts, you get an item or a piece of equipment or or something. Just doing anything in this game seems so unrewarding. Okay, which is, you, <sighs> uh, but not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmex to open up a new front against the Empire. Person that counter to the left. Well, well, for the Renown, process. I know, right? Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. 
I've been passing them on to Vivian in the hope she can make sense. So far, the rewards haven't been that interesting to me if personally, going, if that's what you want to call her. rewards. <laughs> but Understood. the renowned purchasables haven't been that interesting to me so far. Granted, I haven't unlocked all of them, but that is it. I was worried about that. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything A promised. prayer for safe travels. Cleric's medallion plus one. It doesn't tell us what it does. Uh, I'm guessing... They say it's your man who keeps the roads free of beast and bandit. Bruh. So I, I got a shower right before... Oh, it's not purchase. It's tier unlock? Bruh, I straight up thought it was purchase, so I never took anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but anyway, I, I showered because I mowed the lawn, so I showered right before I streamed, and somehow a piece of soap got stuck to my side. I felt it, and I was like, what the hell is that? And then... Bruh. Ew. <laughs> I mean, it's just soap. I guess it's not gross, but like, still. Anyways, okay. Well, since it's just tear unlock, I guess, you grab everything. This. Yeah. Oh, yours. <laughs> I really thought you this was all this. purchasable stuff, so I was just, just saving it up, man. All yours. Here you are. Come all right, again. well, we'll take our free stuff then. Anything worth it? Gear. Uh, what's new? Grace the Inferno. No. Berserker Ring. Temporarily increase attack proficiency with each precision dodge. I mean, that's interesting. Not worth 30 defense, though. Healing potency of potions by 40%. That's not bad, actually. But again, I'm not sure it's worth my 30 extra defense. Probably worth giving up the ability points increase by 20%. Because it's not like we really need to upgrade this stuff. The upgrades on the stuff don't seem to be that helpful. Though I would like to master these. OP, you say? Hmm, okay. We'll give up the AP. Oh, yeah. I mean, that does mean that, like, a high potion is basically a high potion and a half. Just under. Right? So, you get, well, you can carry three high potions. So, you get a free high potion in a little bit, essentially, out of it. Like, oh, it's only for regular potions. Well, even then, though, then that means a regular potion is, what, two-thirds the way to a high potion? What's the actual efficiency of, like, a potion and high potion items? 20%, 40%. So 40% of 20, we'll just say 10%. Yeah, so it takes it from being half a high potion to about three-quarters a high potion. Just under three-quarters a high potion. So that's pretty damn good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Ah. If it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now. Where did we leave? And again, I don't feel like we really need well, the AP. It was just a, a why not? My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kupka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost, but to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the republic from parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, 
a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. Do we get to fight him finally? Imperial soil. Not I feel like he's going to be one of the hardest fact. ones to take down. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is I don't know if it's just the sheer size of him or what, but... Where its legions are now he scares me the most at all of the icons we've seen. Remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kukka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. Yeah? Has it been updated? I'll take a look at it. Will it tell us here now? No. You said Kupka's forces. We'll go to the, up the, the book guy. What of Port is older then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? <laughs> Aye. I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the Come world. Come on now, Gav. All right. You know the rules. We should be on our way. We actually letting Lead him? On. I'm surprised we're letting him. I mean, look, he does have a bone to pick with Kuka. That's fair, but... I'm surprised we're not forcing him to stay. Okay. Book guy. He is... That's not him. That's not. Ah, the shelves. So is that, that was what, by the shop up the stairs? Yeah, okay. So we still got to turn in the things too, I almost forgot. <laughs> the, the Morgan beards to Nigel for whatever the hell that does for us. Socrates, hello my sir. Time. Uh, Tet and Crow? What is Tet and Crow? I still remember. I still remember the day I first met Tet and Crow, chasing their father about the hideaway in one moment, clinging to their mother's kirtle the next. The twins' love for their parents was something to behold, so fierce and pure. When they passed, I feared the void they left in the children's life could never be filled. Neither spoke nor sp smiled for years, hiding themselves away here in the shelves to bury their sorrows in the leaves thank of these tomes. Thank goodness they did, for I believe the stories proved a welcome distraction, as over time their pain faded, and now they laugh and frolic as they once did, if not with more vigor. They reminded us that loss sucks, but oh well. Okay. <laughs> View the thousand tons, please. I have please. compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. I would, actually, sir. I would like to see what you have on magic and icons. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. Uh... What close. subject shall we consider today? Bestiary, lay of the land, person of interest, search... By keyword? Icons. Dominant Shiva. No, 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 no. Icon. 
Magical beings, godlike strength, who dwell within human hosts known as dominants, only emerging when the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with a unique elemental affinity. One word in each of fire, water, thunder, ice, wind, earth, light, and darkness. Oh, light and darkness. Okay. So light is probably Bahamut then, right? Not another. Or wait. What about Odin, though? Would Odin be? Huh. <laughs> water. Okay, yeah. But uh, the, is Odin light then? Thunder, ice. Okay, because fire is obviously meant to be the phoenix. Bahamut would be water. Thunder was Ramu. Ice is Shiva. Wind was Garuda. Earth is Titan. Light. Who am I missing? Darkness is Odin, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but okay. Who's light? Have we met light yet? The common belief is that two icons of the same... Oh, Bahamut is light. Okay. Wait, who's water then? <laughs> God, I'm so confused. <laughs> Have we met the water one? Good fucking question. Oh, has there... Hmm, okay. Two icons of the same element cannot coexist, was shaken by the appearance of a second icon of fire during the Imperial attack on Phoenix Gate. And before Ifrit, just the icon of fucking water. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Obviously not, but... <laughs> oh, God. Do they, do they ever answer that? I'm okay with the small spoiler. Like, <laughs> do they ever answer who? No, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> perfect. Great. Great. Oh, God. Uh, only emerging when the dominant primes. History records eight icons in Teodo, each with a unique. Oh, wait. That's the old. Okay. Bruh. Because <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're straight up just missing one, huh? Maybe that's DLC stuff, man. <laughs> Oh, well, Leviathan would make a lot of sense. Yeah, okay. And then they just never show themselves or Leviathan just decided to fuck off, like <laughs> not <laughs> give himself over to a dominant. Interesting. Hmm. What was the other thing that you said? about reading on was it do 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 I'm blind magic I have the tempest mother crystals deadland crystal crystal rations oh god there's so much oh yeah, see, I, that didn't, you know, <laughs> that did not trigger at all. The liquid flame, I was curious about that. What is this thing? Never shifting mass of living flame that rose from the fiery pools of Drake's breath and what appeared to be response to an unwarranted trespass into the Mother Crystal's inner sanctum. Possessed with both the swiftness and temper of an untamed wildfire, the creature rained fury down upon the intruders, wielding the molten lifeblood of sacred M Mount Drustness, like it was but fistfuls of mud. <laughs> crystal ADT. See, that's what I thought Ultima was at first. But and like whenever the liquid fire liquid flame showed up, I thought it was like almost a uh a projection from Ultima or something like that. Like the Ultima and Phoenix together, you know, cuz Phoenix fire and then the the first form of the liquid flame looked kind of like a twisted version of Ultima or something, but yeah. Take care, Clive. Probably not. <laughs> Reading that now. Probably not. <laughs> I wish Nigel didn't have to be so far away from everyone else. Also, hold on a second. How do we fast travel here? <laughs> There's not a crystal here, is there? I don't see one on the map, so I don't think there is. I don't. 
I was just thinking it would be nice if Nigel had a uh, crystal down here so we could just fast travel to him. But then I realized there's none here anywhere. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you? That's not a terrible idea, locating? actually, if you but need to get back the to the, part, the front of it quickly. It's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. Mm, the ducal healers were convinced of sense. their properties. That is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. It's going to make us an elixir. Is that our, our grand reward? <laughs> Better. Interested. And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. Okay, At okay. So it's what I was originally thinking it was. Just a permanent, like, increase to potion effectiveness. Or at least I'm guessing that's what it is. Adding but a drop necessary for increasing consumable potency. Okay, but does it? Yes. There we go. So with that, on top of the 30% we just got, means that a regular potion probably is just straight up a high potion now. Twenty-four percent. Okay, it's not quite as much of an increase as I was thinking it would be, but still, takes it that much closer. Let's see about no shit. I'm surprised that like there's no upgrades to just how many you can hold, or at least not yet. I guess it doesn't really matter when the game's just going to give them to you for free constantly, but... And I don't mean, like, for free by finding them, but every time you die, just like, here you go! Fortify the castle gates at once. Oh, I was actually kind of hoping to travel down from the the north the blight infested areas Hugo and his men have been busy they've already breached the castle's outer wall the imperials are holding the ground for now but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls those fuckers really went to town on this place almost like they want to wipe it off the map just a means to an end Is that like a kid's oh, chocobo one, toy? They didn't have to go or so a kid's... Far. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm tired. You keep your wits about you. I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Never. Why hunt down the villagers? I thought I was ready for this. A 
How does that help your cause? I mean, getting us to come, I guess, would help, but... This was our home. Like, when invading a nation in general, on, though. Clive. We have to keep going. What do the common folk have to do with it? Small scare of the, uh... Like, the capable ones, I suppose. Starting an uprising. If you succeed. But, like, damn, dude. They just trying to live. They probably didn't even have a choice of living here. They just did. <laughs> they happened to be born here. So they're going to be killed for it. Makes sense. Makes sense. This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Our mother played a part in it. Just to remind you, Clive. She's just as guilty. Let me guess, that little bit of rubble is too much to get over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> protect. Some opponents will cast protect spells. Ooh. Fancy. Do we ever get other magic like that? Because that would be cool. Would use near sword instead employ magic to quickly, efficiently dispel. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. So it's not like a one hit clears it sort of thing. And charge does a lot more. Okay. At least there's finally a reason to use magic. Thirty. You can break it with abilities too, so no. Well, you know. <laughs> I, I I don't know man I'm trying to give the game the benefit of the doubt and to be honest I didn't think of abilities but yeah now that you mention it that makes a lot of sense His abilities are basically just magic on steroids I wonder, like, uh, if you equip the easy mode equipment, I wonder, like, does it throw magic in there for you automatically as you're attacking as part of your combos and stuff? I used it a tiny bit during the demo, but I've forgotten what all it does. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I think you guys are the ones that are going to have to worry about escaping, to be honest. Well, they're dead. Uh, anybody else? No. Then where do we go? Up here? <laughs> Screw those guys, I guess. Um, oh, yep, okay. <laughs> that shield did not last longer. Barrier, rather. I wonder, so... Oh, hold on, when we... Wait, is he already dead? No, okay, there he is. Not you, this one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. I was wondering if the, the charge attack, since it's, like, covered in fire, if it would work, too. And it does. Impact. 
passable carts. Everybody's favorite. Tiny bit of rubble that's impossible to get over. Dagger bar, but I couldn't pick you up. I don't know who I'm aiming at, but screw that guy. <laughs> oh, he does have a stagger bar. It just didn't pop up for some reason at first. Damn you. something that can happen? I haven't seen like antidotes or anything. I'm kind of surprised Titan's not just here already. Is he hiding from us or is he just waiting for us to show ourselves? I gotta remember, they're not actually here to destroy the place, we don't think. Even though that's what it seems like. They're here to get us to, to show up. So I guess having Titan come too early wouldn't actually help anything. But from the mindset of they're fucking the place up, it seems like just having Titan come through and smash everything real quick would be the <laughs> the better move, the smarter move. Lightning Pile Drive. I do really like Pile Drive, but it's not worth giving up anything else, man. I think that's one of the reasons why I really like the Materia system in Final Fantasy VII. Because you just get so many equipables. Which makes it an awesome system. Because you can really have a nice variation of, of things equipped at any given time. Whereas like right now, there's a lot of items that are neat, but at the end of the day, it's like, well, that boost to 30 on my defense is just worth more than doing 5% more damage with pile drive or whatever. Anybody big to worry about yet, or is it just a bunch of little dudes? Just a bunch of lore. This one. Over here. Kill. Ah! 
Freaking stomped on his face. Oh, you bastards. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Seems like whenever they do have the barrier up, our normal attacks are... Or not our normal attacks, but just our attacks in general are kind of... They don't do any damage. They just break the barrier. That's what I was trying to say. It's good to know. So using the, the big things like the, the Thunderbolt there doesn't make sense to break the barriers. I thought, like, the damage would overflow into actual health. But no. Set her loose. Ooh, hello, you. They have a curl. A big one at that. Attack! These are much bigger than what I'm used to. <laughs> Uh Okay, well, somehow we dodged that. the attack okay oh it's one of these things i haven't seen these happen in a while it's down. Let's make this i do wonder what one of those attacks would be like that actually hit bounced around a little bit here. I need to get close. I can't teleport. Hold on. There we go. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Just a couple frames too late. Uh, this thing's probably too mobile to use it right now. But we're from that distance now. Shit. Just get down. <laughs> I'm tired of your shit, though. Uh, not dog. I almost called you a dog. You're close enough to a dog. Big electric cat.
GG Carl. Surely we'll get some for that, right? It was a boss fight. Whiskers. Just used in crafting. Okay. Jill! We meet at last, Sid. There he is. Hugo, or not Hugo, I my bad. Lord Rosfield. Kuka's like I've the guy been looking above him. For you whatever. For a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. I know, they do call him Kuka. So okay. He just has two names, I guess. Invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. <laughs> this isn't good for Jill. I'm Still, pretty sure he could break her neck with a twitch. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. Do those like prevent magic? I'm assuming there's some sort of anti magic gauntlet. Now, on to the festivities. <laughs> Torgal's gonna save the day somehow. Maybe get Gav, and then Gav's gonna free us. Uh, that's just oh, Gav already great, sees. That is. I suppose it's up to me then. Are they just looting now? Oh, that's a log. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a chest. I was like, wait. <laughs> We're going to fight that guy. Do you want me? For sure. You! Bring the prisoner! Don't look so smug, man. Yes, no more than she deserves for We're gonna deal with you eventually. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Gav. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <sighs> we have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Oh. Nearly forgot. Oh, I thought he forgot the way he was going. <laughs> He's grabbing our sword for us. Okay. Thanks, Gav. I'm coming. 
appreciate that. All right, before we go up there, I need to stretch my legs, refill my water. So we're going to take just a short break, guys, and then uh, hopefully get into a fight with Titan. Maybe. I don't know if that's something you should really hope for, but I wouldn't mind seeing him die either. So <laughs> BRB, guys. Can't fucking dream. Why not? Get you some mushrooms. That'll do it. <laughs> Anybody else notice how fucking slowly she was walking around? I'm really worried. Okay, no, she does run. Sweet, so it's a. It's a 3D platformer? Or not really. We're, we're stuck to a path, it seems like. But, like... When I have time, tell D D or David that, uh, <laughs> that I want to play Hunt. I'm assuming he rage quit again. At least there's subtitles. Yeah, that is... That is good. I'm, I'm happy for subtitles. Collect some magic seeds, man. To unlock them special gifts. Look, honestly, though, like... For, like, a, you know, a, a kid's game or, or movie, video franchise, I don't know what the hell it is. Anyways, like, going with a side-scrolling platformer thing is pretty decent. But one thing I'm already fucking annoyed about, whenever I was going around... Here, let me go, let me go back over here real quick. Mr. Noodle with the 20 bits. Thank you so much, love. Thank you both. Chocobo, Noodle, both you guys, seriously. I appreciate y'all. But we came around this corner here. So naturally, I just started turning the... the Noodle with another 20. Let's go, love. Um, but yeah, we came around the corner and started coming up. So naturally, I like started rotating the stick around to walk towards the screen. That doesn't fucking work. I'm pressing down on the left joystick it's not doing shit <laughs> you gotta actually like you have to hold right the whole time even whenever you're walking towards or away from the screen another 25 let's go dude gotta get that first place i'm in for the 69 though i'm all for that 69 find the keys to open the door i can do that you know what that makes me think of, legit? It makes me think of, uh... Oh, shit, what was the name of that game? It was on the Dream Dream Master or something like that on the original NES. It's one of the handful of games that I got whenever I was a, a kid in, like, a duffel bag from my... I think my grandma, if I remember correctly, gave it to me. Anyways, I really liked that game. I ain't gonna lie, dude. Never beat it, though. I always found it kind of hard. You almost forgot something? What the hell did you almost forget, dude? If it's important, don't forget it. If it wasn't important, then I mean, I guess, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Do what you want. I don't know. Scooby Doo mystery alarm clock. Let's go, man. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> That's actually a kind of hard jump for what I assume is a kid's game. Cause like you gotta, you got. Oh man, you gotta like really jump last moment on that, dude. Uh, but yeah, no, did you guys see what I posted in the Discord? It's probably a few days ago, but it was uh, Scooby-Doo related. They're making an adult Scooby-Doo animated series. Like, the, the... the Oh, damn, okay, there's fall damage. What kind of platformer has fall damage? Anyways, um, the, the characters aren't adults. They're still, you know, before Mystery Inc. was officially formed. So, like, they're still kids, teenagers, whatever. But it's adult themed. Like there's there's cursing. There's at least butts, I guess, from what I read. I don't know about full nudity, but there's butts, uh, drug use, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like people are pissed. Velma is South African. Oh, I didn't even realize that that Velma was South African. I noticed. Excuse me. That uh, they made Shaggy some kind of uh minority. I I don't know which which uh, like specifically. Um. Wait, what is, what, what is, 
Uh, help? What was that? <laughs> I just... <laughs> we collected that hat. Everything, like, went zoomy for a moment, and then we just went back to normal. That was weird as shit. Frankly, you don't care as long as personality sticks. Yeah, that's how I feel about the, the, the show, too. Like, from... Whenever I saw that uh, Shaggy wasn't just your normal white dude or whatever, I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever, dude. As long as it's still Shaggy, the only upsetting thing is that it's going to be voiced by someone different. Like, that's that, that was the worst part of the whole announcement. But, uh, but I mean, like... Hello. Uh, sorry, it took me an extra minute. The noodles loaded dishes were almost done, so... I decided to uh, pee and then plug in the car. Um... I don't think the adult Scooby panned out to. Uh, was I talking about like the cartoon Velma or whatever it was called? Cause yeah, I never, I haven't ended up watching it, but uh, I've definitely heard some not so great things <laughs> about it. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is too to bad. To Cause it was a cool premise, I feel like, but oh well. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I guess. I mean, I think they were talking about a season two, right? Because even though the show wasn't received well, I think it did get a lot of views. So I thought I heard something about them, like, starting work on season two or... I don't know. I could be making it up. But, uh... <laughs> if they do, though, here's hoping they take some of the feedback from the first one and improve the second. I do Don't still want to watch it at some point, just to see, you know, like what it's like, but, but yeah, I don't have particularly high hopes though. Venture Brothers, I've seen like bits and pieces of it, but I've never actually watched the show or anything, no. Is it something like that? Or are you just comparing that to like Scooby Doo for adults? <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Well, we haven't gotten Shiva's powers yet, and I'm assuming we do at some point. And if she gets her head chopped off, we're going to have a hard time collecting. <laughs> I know we can collect from near death, but I don't think we can collect from death. So since when does Horrible like... Bro, what? <laughs> Since when can he do all that? Okay, good. I'm not the only one that's surprised here. What? What was that? Jill, can you stand? He's like infused with ether. Come, come, Lord Rusty. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Bruh, seriously though? Why doesn't he just come down here and tighten out, like... Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Has Torgo changed from, like... All the times that he spent bathing in ether with us, or like. To explain what the fuck your dog just did. Later, everyone, with me. That includes you, Toggle. How is he not... Bruh, how is he not staggered? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, me. Where did this come from? Oh, oh. 
Y'all can deal with them, right? You still fight. Somebody else? No, okay. <laughs> it just took a moment for it to trigger. Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. Hmm, okay. But news always came in threes. Let them come. Not quite staggered yet. There we go. Staggered, nice. Can we get this one down though? Perfect. Okay. It'll be a lot easier now with just one of them. Although honestly, these guys so far have been easier than that big dude, so. Oh, that's not how you dodge. Bad those two. Just useless crap, thank you. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Hopefully we don't go in there with a limp dick, dude. Like, <laughs> we really need uh, Ifrit to show himself. If we're going to take down Titan, man. Nothing. Ooh, something. Potion and high potion. How fancy. I think that's the first time I've ever seen one of those things give two rewards. Kuka. You're late. Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! 
Okay, so he has godlike strength even when he's not primed or semi primed. So good to know. <laughs> Getting punched Enough by him is gonna hurt. Of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sit's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Yeah, I do. I was talking about it last night. <laughs> Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. So it was a head in a box. If you choose to bear that murderer's oh. name, then you shall answer for his crimes. I did not expect Sid to do that, man. Like, <laughs> I would not have put that the on him. The crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was you. <laughs> Why piss him off more? How's that going to help anything, Clive? You. You killed her. I did. I don't I understand. Indeed. Like, he knew that I she was not loyal at all to him, right? Like, take the life of she just hopped loved. from guy to guy just as it as suited he her. Did, <laughs> like, did he not she... know that, or did he just not I care? I guess maybe he just didn't care. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. Hail Mary, your spirit. You will pay. For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my blades. I like his design, man. Not only as Titan, but he's semi-prime what form and whatnot. Have? Cool character. How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. Is it? No. It might be on your end this time. At least OBS is reporting everything's okay. Yeah, I have zero dropped frames on the network right now. So it might be like a non... It's probably... St <laughs> it could still be Twitch. It just might be like the other side of Twitch. <laughs> Not the receiving from me part, but the sending to others part. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, man. Twitch, uh, Twitch struggles, that's for sure. Ooh, okay. What becomes of those who dare to cross me? Cross Okay, so gotta remember he has a kick after that. Oh. I 
I was avoiding using the tornado because vision. But I want him to go into stagger. far back. Damn, yeah, those potions heal like a third of our health now, if not a bit more. Man, oh, shit. <laughs> Titan picking up the very earth. That was perfect. really necessary. <laughs> Come on, game. You're just wasting time. Let's get in the fight, man. I want to take this guy down. Uh, is he going to come up from the ground? Oh, God. Okay. That was neat. Oh, okay. His attack combos are longer. Too slow. Uh, no. <laughs> Can't see where he's actually at. You know what? Perfect time for Judgment Bolt then. Wait, what? I thought he was... Oh, it was half staggered. Ah! You 
this thing again? Okay. Uh, get up. No, 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 no. The freaking shot lock, man. Every time I, I hate that shot lock. Halfway there. He's got to be turning soon, man. There's no way we're going to fight Titan and not fight like Big Titan, right? Oh, nice. He, like, broke our ignition there. That was sick. Okay. What is that? That's cool. Um, what do we do? Though? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I couldn't see the edge of it, man. I didn't know if we could get outside of it there for a moment. Just use the tornado. We're spending most of our time dodging right now anyways. I think he's in the weakened state it. Uh, what? Could we jump out of the way of that one, maybe? Damn, he did it again. Damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, we're out of... Regular potions, high potion. normal hits are like doing nothing to him.
When we're just running around dodging like this, I really need to remember that magic exists. It's like the one good time to really use the magic. So close. Come on. Let's get him. I don't think we're going to get him in stagger yet, but should be able to get him. There he goes. Ooh. I don't think he's dead dead, though. I don't think he's actually defeated. He's either somehow going to retreat or turn to Titan. Like, Earth Shard. That should be a new sword. <laughs> Both of his hands. <laughs> that is gruesome. Come on, man. There's no way we kill him and don't fight big him, right? As awesome as it would be to kill Big Him. Or wait, are we stealing his power? Is he... No? Yep, okay. This time we didn't have to put our hand to him. Bro, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> like hands freshly cut off and just banging your, your, your nubs against the ground like that. It's gotta be sensitive, dude. Mustn't get yourself worked up. He found a way to Wait. escape. Okay. Another time, Mythos. Hmm. He knows this is Mythos, huh? Interesting. So horrible, dude. Is that all of them? The flames coming out of his ass are a little weird, though. <laughs> Just a well, constant blue sprung. stream of the fuck invited, then? gas, I guess. I don't know. Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? I'll tell any. Eh? Suit yourself. Gav. Ooh, yeah, I like cookies. Right. You know what I like. Sorry. Chocolate chip. $25 for six. Holy shit. Is your mom and sister like helping pay for them at least? You missed one. 
because I don't think we need all six. We were worried. Or are you treating them? So was I. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll help. If you want to get all six, we don't need six. <laughs> but I mean, you know. <laughs> I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. That sounds good to me, love. Ooh, do they, they have like a, uh, no. like a, uh, red velvet cake Didn't one by any one chance? Cause that sounds away. good. So what? You think but six is fine. You get six. I'll help you pay for it. I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our Same, brains, Gav. that bastard's that's, getting <laughs> that's further a mood, away. honestly. Fuck if I know what's going on. <laughs> Bye, love you, have fun. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. The level-headed thing to do. Which isn't usually what I expect from Clive, but you know. He's growing. Maturing. Now, if only y'all could control your powers a little bit better, or Clive specifically, <laughs> you could probably just take back the castle and just make your home here. Oh, I haven't checked. Did the... It did disappear afterwards. So that... might be a crystal? <laughs> That's definitely a crystal. I don't know. Something about this, man, is a little unsettling to me. The way it glows. Because, like, there's a volcano over here, too, right? Where the other crystal was, and it's not glowing. So is this just, like, an even bigger volcano? Or is there a crystal at the heart of it? Anyways, there's at least one... Two... Two crystals left. Seems short. Sure, if we go into the codex, it'll tell us exactly how many crystals there originally were. I was thinking five, but maybe there only were four. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. That's rude. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. <laughs> the question is, yeah. where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill. Right. Let me know if you learn anything. It'll do. And you do the same, eh? Jill, listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I like having her come with us and help us and shit. Uh, her extra DPS is, is definitely welcome. But can we just start leaving her behind? <laughs> like, one, the hideaway could use someone to help protect it should somebody like Titan show up again. And two, she's literally killing herself, coming with us all the time. Clive is claiming a portion of the Icon Titan's essence. Tuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities. Titan Titanic block can be used to fend off most incoming attacks. Using square immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will initiate a devastating counter. Hmm, that's cool. So, how does that work? Uh, okay. Icons, you, Titan, block enemy attacks when a guard is timed perfectly, square can be used. Okay, so circle now works as a block? Bro, that's going to confuse the shit out of me. Because I'm always trying to use circle, or at least used to always try to use circle to dodge. With the, with the teleport thing, even though that's definitely not what it's meant for. So if now circle suddenly a block, <laughs> oh god it is. <laughs> okay, um, hold on. You chocobo, attack me. Attack. Attack, damn it. Ah, that was too... I think I'm doing it too, too early. Can I just hold circle? You can. That's nifty. Oh. Oh. Wow, and it even stays up. Okay, but I'm assuming, like, really strong attacks will break through it, kind of like... Stop focusing on the dog. Focus on me. That's pretty cool. Okay. I like that one. What is his other stuff? Titan channeled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the what are the things? So we got wind up. Punch forward, hold button to wind up attack, further increasing potency. Okay. Upheaval. Slam a fist to the ground, dealing damage to all enemies within a range. Hold button to increase range can be used in midair. I like that one. Has a decent rating for the stagger, too. Raging fist. Step forward and deliver a blinding fury of high-speed punches. Blocking an enemy attack with a step forward increases the potency of the following punches. Hmm. Hmm. AOE versus single. Probably single, man. Because, like, most of the time when we're fighting large hordes of people, they're relatively easy to kill. And we already have AOE in the way of the, the Phoenix Flame thing. And the... Ah, oh, but this is replacing Ramu, so no, we wouldn't have his attack anymore. Mm -hmm. And then Earthen Fury. Drive both hands into the ground, causing the land to surge upwards, sending nearby enemies flying. That's mostly a damage thing, it looks like. Hmm. <laughs> Did we have enough to unlock both of these? It's close, yes. I'm going to go ahead and unlock both of these. We're going to try Titan out for a bit. I still... Oh, man. I really need to master Ramu's abilities. Because I'd much rather have his abilities with her deadly embrace. <laughs> Although the Wicked Wheel's not bad. It does do a decent amount of uh, stagger. Okay, let's get rid of Wind Up. I want Raging Fists and Earthen Fury for Titan. We'll stick with that for now. Very flashy. I mean, all of those expensive ones are, but... 
Okay. Back to base then. Are new side quests? No. Oh, we probably need to like talk with Otto and shit, and then I bet you there'll be new side quests. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Not all of the nobles made it out. Hello, Otto. Let me guess. You want me to go to Vivian What's and talk happened? to her so we can learn more we shit? Good time. <laughs> so we've been in a bit of a it's pattern for a while. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing all she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Is that is that her? Is she mid? mid. Who the Why hell is mid? Back? Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria, all the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You. <laughs> it's win. not that I'll bad. <laughs> A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please <sighs> oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? What is she I supposed did, to be? To Australian? <laughs> <my ears. laughs> As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. I can see Otto's a fan. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you <laughs> were paying. I can see why Otto's such a fan. <laughs> a storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Who are you? The oh, this is the medicine room, okay. I get the feeling Daria doesn't like us so much, man. <laughs> the way she says your lordship all the time just sounds a little condescending, I'm not gonna lie. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Hold up. I'm a oh. busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the uh, <laughs> Was this You've too late? Come back. <laughs> Did we go too far? And I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. Oh, the hopeless romantic? Me, She's the one I obsessed with the uh, auto, right? No one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me neck to work. I've talked I to her before, but I don't know if her dialogue's changed since then. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right. <laughs> I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Wait, what? <laughs> Which is why I wrote the list of jobs for you. For me. The Who whole else? hideout, like. 
<sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need. So what kind of workshop does she... From. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. What? <laughs> what does the OWT mean? Out, out else? Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. What kind of workshop is she trying to build? Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain tenderness. Oh. Meanwhile, is as burly as a See, the first time I talked to her, innocent as a babe I'm pretty arms. sure she only talked about, like, Otto or something. Blackthorn may be the manliest so, like, <laughs> so she just constantly cycles through different men. That's what you mean. I see. Yes. She does. Any new hunts for us, Nectar? Or will that come later? One. Muddy Murder. Hawk's Cry Cliff in Rosario. Okay. Uh, and also, just because I'm curious, what are your thoughts on uh, the Nectar's... Oh, it's your adventures. Well, whatever. Tell us more about your adventures. Did I ever tell you about the time I toured the Northern Territories? I trust you wrapped up warm. I did no such thing, Koopa. We Moogles don't feel the cold, thanks to our exceptionally fluffy fur. You humans are the only animals up there who feel the need to dress up in the furs of those fluffier than yourselves, Koopo. In fact, that's precisely why I ended up cutting my tour short, Koopo. My kindly greetings to the locals were met with a volley of arrows and make a much better hero than I do a hat. <laughs> Bruh, Nectar is by far the best character in the game. Wait, hold up. What part of Rosaria? Hawk's Cry Cliff. Okay. Hawk's Cry Cliff. I'm going to forget that. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. I really wish there was a way to like mark that on the map promised. somehow. Hawk's Cry Cliff. Hawk's Cry on Cliffs. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheet when they caught her. Yes. I do really like Nectar. I don't know if there ends up being more of them or not, but Nectar's really cool. I was wondering He's where cute. you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just I have. Now. Pain in my ass she is. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. I still don't understand what kind of workshop it is. We already have a smith. I think you can find everything on there. This we one. have a carpenter. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Is she Excellent. gonna make trinkets? That's I don't. <laughs> it's paid, hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. What has she done for? Okay, for hold up. I gotta check the tones, to man. But blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Ah. I'll send the stuff on so she does just make like in. miscellaneous things. Thank you, Karen. Mididol Telemann? Daughter of Sid in... Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. That's the daughter he never wanted to talk about. In student of engineering at the University of Canver, from a young age, Mid showed the same passion for invention as her father and an even greater aptitude. She is all well-versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the Twins and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. Bruh. Okay. Very cool. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if she did. Do. Just throwing that Until out there. Over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. 
That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolf's available. How do we? Okay. Wait, is he down bottom? Bruh, son of a bitch. I hate this elevator. <laughs> There's no way to fast travel there. I'm all for, like, accessibility. I'm glad we have an elevator, but, like, couldn't you put in stairs, too? A little bit of both. Should be enough to keep us going. <laughs> have elevator stories. <laughs> How do, Master Sid? Uh. Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full oh. just keeping this place afloat. Honestly, like, the large ships, though, them, we'll do they not use, like, wind crystals and sails? Because that would make the most the sense for this kind of world, I feel like. Is, I, ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, there's the another carpenter? Oh. Bernard, was it? That's right. Okay. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Sure. Let's go all the way to Martha's rest for whatever crap she needs. Never elaborated on? It's going to be my personal headcanon at the very least. Thought I had a dead pixel in the middle of my screen for a moment. There was just something on it. Thankfully. It's a relatively new monitor. It would suck if it was already dying. Hello, Martha. Okay, we've seen that before. Have we seen this before? Yes, we have. Okay. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far you didn't think know, to mention that before, like, right away? Then. I had to ask where he was? Yeah, like, <laughs> bruh, like if I come to your house and like, hey, uh, where's your sister at? And, or no, hold on, Stay what? Shot. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. If I come to your house and it's like, hey, can your uh, sister come help me with this project that I have? Wouldn't the first thing you think to say be like, sure, but she's she had a man fuck agreed. all. Like, <laughs> just no idea where she is right now. Couple couple miles away or something. I don't know. How many yards are in a mile? I guess we don't even know where he's at yet. Hey, Martha, can I use your sister? I mean, you know, you get the point. Look, <laughs> I'm very tired. Words are hard and sister's the first thing that came to mind. But <laughs> I get the feeling Martha wouldn't really mind, though. <laughs> If we <laughs> asked to use her sister for a bit. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Gloom Widow. Time to fight. Not bad. Now, this one's the, like, big AoE in front of us, right? Nice. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to reach it first. Too bad those things take so damn long to refill.
you get there from here? No. Okay. Up and around. I mean, this was a locked area before, right? So I'm assuming he's not going to be here and we're going to have to continue forward. On to the next zone. Nate, what's up, dude? Just in time to catch the end of the stream. You saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? You gonna tell us what the hell you're doing out here, by the way? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course you of could, course. my guy. It'd only be fair. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. And much left of it now, though. At my parents' graves. Well, that's sad, dude. Well, I, I came up <laughs> here shit. to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. I mean, I'll clear them out. I don't have a problem with that. But, like, you do know as soon as I unload this area, they're all going to come back, right? <laughs> that's that's just how it works, man. I don't make the rules. Didn't get the notification. See if you're, oh, yeah, no. I try, anytime I'm not streaming, I try to post it on Discord. Not going to say I've never forgotten or just fallen asleep. But, like, <laughs> I do try to let everyone know if I'm not going to be for one reason or another. One claw down. Damn fence. The jumping off of people is still just so weird to me. <laughs> like, I just don't understand the point of it other than to get a tiny bit more height for our downward swing thing that we have there. Whatever whatever this is called. Not oh, where I miss like everybody else. Uh, can I get all of you? How have you not beaten this game yet? Wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> You've been here like the entire time I've been playing, just about. Oh, more people. Oh, shit. Hi, you're a bigger one. Get him. Over here. You dick. I do like Titan's ability, man. I'm not completely sold on his attacks yet, but his abilities are pretty sick. I imagine his attacks would be really useful for just like raw damage output whenever they're staggered and shit like that. Because he is strong, like that's for sure. Oh, 
Sam, he comes both ways. <laughs> Good miss, bro. Good miss. I have no idea what's going on. It's all just fire. <laughs> He's dead, though. We did it. GG Wyver. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? I'm guessing a while. Packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Pretty overgrown, man. This definitely didn't happen in a year or two. It's been like... on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century. Looking at the place, this isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Even a decade seems a little short for I how well overgrown everything is. No and how decrepit the houses are? As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mint's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. He came in. Have you seen my yard? <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I'm a little confused. What does your yard have to do with anything? Is it just like, oh, with how overgrown everything is. I was thinking like your last comments to us. Like, what, what does your yard have to do with me not beating this game yet? I was so lost for a moment. Oh, God. I just did mine today. I skipped a couple weeks. I didn't mean to, but with the rain and shit. Yeah. But, like, the trees, though, man. And, like, the vines growing all the way up it. That's what... I mean, I guess. Now that I think about it, like, there is a vine on the side of my house that I have to cut pretty much every time I, uh... Weed eat. Otherwise, it would probably get to be about that tall pretty quick. But the house is, like, falling down? I don't know, man. Hey, while I'm thinking about it, surely you saw up here. There's a door here that's locked. Does that ever open? I don't know if that's like something they're saving for like an update or DLC or something, or if that's just something I need to keep going back to, or story, it'll be obvious when it opens. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. So hopefully some sort of DLC or something is planned for that then, because that <laughs> bugs the hell out of me. Very obvious door, no way in it. All right, there's nothing else to do around here. One across from Blackthorn doesn't either. Okay. So it's not the only one. <laughs> Hopefully DLC. Although I know the game wasn't meeting their expectations for pre-orders. I don't know how they feel about the game once it actually released, but... The have been up to their old tricks again. Which worries me we're going to end up in another Final Fantasy XV situation where things just don't get finished. Oh, I should have went to... I can't mark it now. Hawk's Cry Mountain or whatever. Cliff. I should have went there while I was in Rosalia. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Oh, well. I'll we'll have to do it later. Hello, Mid. All right, Clive. You've all done then. 
I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got true. all the plans True, too true. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll never not be butthurt about Versus 13. Oh. The Breath of Earth. Yeah, I don't think we're going to equip that. <laughs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see you can skip cutscenes in this game, right? I've never tried to. The only reason I ask, I'm curious what the uh, speed run is going to end up being like for this game. Because I'm sure there's got to be some way to break the system, some combo of, of moves to take things down quickly and easily. And with the, the assistant uh, shit that you can get, the assisting uh, equipment oh, that you can that Recovery, you can use. But she still needs her rest. Of course. And then while Take all of the items seem you. dumb to me <laughs> that we can get, oh, I'm sure proper use mean. of them probably would uh, you power you up reasonably well. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Apocrates about Torgul. Yes, can we figure out about Torgul before we leave? I do want to know what the hell's going on there. Look, ether infused somehow, something. 957.22? What? What's 957.22? I'm so confused. Oh, speedrun time. God, dude, I'm fucking dumb. I'm really tired. I'm probably going to take a nap after been? the stream. <laughs> I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How long have we been Where playing? Where did you get him? Speed run time. Time. <laughs> oh, God. Can't you... Isn't there, like, somewhere from here? Is it from the switcher? No. You can see somewhere from here how long. Oh, God. I'm surprised my controller hasn't died yet. I forgot it was dying, even. <laughs> Do you have to go home? Play game. Achievements. Ah, there it is. 21 hours. Okay. So we're only, you know, <laughs> double the speed run time and halfway through the game. <laughs> Seems legit. Honestly, though, I'm not that surprised because... Like, Cutscenes are a large part piece. of the game, uh, of course, and then uh, like all the side quests and shit are mostly pointless. They were so if you skip cutscenes in that, yeah, ten hours we'll isn't surprising. They took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory, Clive. I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. <laughs> That's true. Estuaries, That's true. I did. I, I definitely did. <laughs> it's probably a couple hours of our time. <laughs> queen of the North. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His hmm. name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frostwolf. The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Torgal his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful mm, companion to the okay. dominant of Shiva. And Do we later, all get animals like that? That'd be pretty awakened. sick. Just when his master needed him. The I don't most. think so. There's You're nothing right. to indicate that we do, but that it would be the cool, man. Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come. Jill would have been for it. Quite. 
though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that, that means what you here. meant there it to me. Here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. God. <laughs> There's definitely some innuendo in this game. Whether it's on purpose or not, I'm not sure. But uh, seeing as this seems to have been written in English, this game, I feel like it's on purpose. <laughs> Man, like, it's not some weird translation thing that just happened to kind of be funny in our native tongue here. I think they knew what they were doing. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. I mean, haven't you already? With your filters that can remove blight from water? Like, that's pretty impressive, my guy. Now that that's settled... I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Wait, so you don't actually, like, do anything? Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. I thought she would... Well, I mean, like, obviously she's Thanks doing stuff, but I thought she'd be, like, a That's shop a or something. You did me. Only right I do you one in return. Though I did wonder if I bit off more than I could chew when Mid showed me her plans for the place. If she hadn't been there to tell me what to do, I wouldn't have known where to start. Everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! <laughs> oh, lady's weird. I wish Miss Mididor would let us help her with her dungeoneering. Dungeoneering. That's the technical term for what she's doing. Okay. Fair enough. Alrighty, guys. It's a little after... Uh, fuck. It's a little after nine. <laughs> as much as I want to keep playing, I need some sleep. So I think we're going to call it there for now. Today is Monday. Don't be surprised if we stream tomorrow night or Wednesday. I do have at least one thing I need to do Wednesday, so I don't know, like, times or anything. But I do want to, like, pick up the pace a little bit on the game here. Um, just because it's been a while. What's it been? Two weeks? Three weeks? Probably about three weeks now, I think. Uh, so it feels like it's about time to start wrapping it up. And apparently we're only about 50% of the way through. So <laughs> so we need to do something to get through it a little bit quicker. But anyways, guys, thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. I do appreciate you all. And those of you who can be here whenever the next stream is, I uh, hope you're there. Until then, have a good night, guys, and be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. As long as they still do a decent job at it, the voice for it. Scooby-Doo homage in Venture Brothers? You know, I've never watched.